Hey, this is K9 Chris. It is 2.49 a.m. I am finished with the gym. Um, I've been there for about, oh, let's see, about an hour. Because we got here a little bit early. Um, you know, I, I always go straight to the bully pit right in the back and work on the medicine ball. And uh, I did a video on it. I also did a video of me curling and, you know, doing dumbbells and punching the bag and all that good stuff. And then I started doing the machines. They have a couple in the bully pit I was working on. And, uh, they, they didn't, you know, I don't, I haven't worked the machines since I started a gym like a year and a half ago. Like I was, I mean, I started here in November, but for the six months before gym, I was mostly walking and, you know, doing push-ups and, and, um, and stuff like that. And work wise, I was, you know, kept myself busy. <clears throat> so, but, um, but yeah, so it's, you know, when I started gym, was, you know, I, I, I usually worked on, you know, dumbbells and, you know, I didn't even do the curls. I just did dumbbells and cardio. And I was doing that for a while. And then I started doing the curls. I got into that. And then, um, and I started doing more cardio. Then, um, when we went to Mississippi, you know, at the Margarita Resort, they had a smaller gym, but, um, I worked on their machines. So I'm like, you know, this is kind of nice, you know, so. And then when I was in physical therapy for, you know, my, uh, my calf and my, and my shoulders and stuff and my elbow, you know, I, I was working on the machines as well. So I, so tonight, you know, this morning I started working on one machine, you know, in the bully pit, try it out, whatever the case may be. And I worked on two more machines in the front. So, but, uh, but other than that, you know, it's awesome. You know, it's like, cause I always been afraid to work on a machine because if I do it wrong, like especially during the day when it's busy and you do it wrong people will stare at you you know and you just you know you get embarrassed you know so i'm like so i'm like i'm playing with all these machines at this hour because there's no well there's, well there's two people here there's two there's a truck and a freaking and a sports car that's it and me there's three people you know so um and two of them are in the bully pit but you know what i mean so it's like it's, it's funny so i'm i'm just i'm reading the instructions and some of them don't have instructions so i'm like i'm like figuring it out myself you know what i mean I just, you know, I, I have that, you know, con, you know that, that, I don't know, st stage fright con? I don't know, not stage fright. I don't know what it is, but I just hate when people watch me. You know, that's what, that's why I love the mornings, you know. But the two days off, you know, I do come in, you know, in the morning time frame, but I try not to come in, you know, in, like, in the afternoon. Like, four to six is a, four to seven, actually, is a bitch. That is the most busiest time in this gym. I mean, it is just, it's, it's hectic. You know, I've been here a few times, and it, it just, you have to wait for everything, and, and just, you know, like, you get you get aggravated, you know, you, you just do what you do, and I just go for a walk, you know, I just get out, and go for a walk, I go around the freaking thing about a couple of miles, you know, I was like, like, you know, if I can't do nothing in there, whatever the case may be, and it's it's not at the owner's fault, you know what I mean, but this gym has blown up into big proportions since, since this new building was built, they were in Main Street at the time. And they got this, they built this building and, you know, and it's just been wildfire, you know, so, but, um, but yeah, I enjoy it, you know, but like right now, you know, if you come here at two, two thirty in the morning, like, like I came early today cause I was up, I was up like at 11 plus PM. I mean, 23 something, I think it was 23 08 or something. You know, I woke up, you know, before midnight, but you know what I mean? And I, and I you know, let me tell you something, when I wake up early, you know, from, from my, alarm clock and i've done it this is the second time now okay and i went to bed early you know i went to bed probably about before eight o'clock so you're looking at nine ten i had only maybe four maybe three to four hours of sleep that's it and i took 50 milligrams of my sleeping aid and i took all my freaking um uh, medicines my cholesterol my freaking hot my blood pressure my nightmare medicine and then you know the new anxiety med that i have the new med that i have i'm not tired right now um i did you know a lot in the gym i did a 15 mile bike ride i did a five uh yeah 15 mile bike ride i did a uh a five minute treadmill and a five minute stairs um you know so and i worked on three machines and everything else in the bullet and you know after an hour and so you know you should be exhausted and stuff like that you no know? but i am i am utilizing um a ton of this stuff here um there's a green goop and it's um absorbin plus and it basically it's to for sore muscles and arthritis pain and you know i mean it 
it's okay. I mean, I need something stronger. Which, <laughs> to be honest with you, um, that's why, you know, I got um, some gel coming from my doctor at the VA. And then, um, but I got to take some leave. I mean, they said take Tylenol. And I'm like, Tylenol for me is like candy. I mean, I used to take Motrin. I mean, in the military. Motrin was candy in the military. I don't take Tylenol. So I'm thinking about, my, my mom likes a leave. You know what I mean? She says it's really great for arthritis and back pain and stuff like that. So, but yeah. But yeah, I got this and I have the aspirin as well. Anything on sale, but this stuff is like not even seven bucks. You know, and every time I get paid, I get one of these. I have like two bottles of these, one in the bathroom. And I, t I, yeah, I got one in my bag, a utility bag for work. And this one, it comes with me to the gym or whatever the case may be. So, you know. But I work, I, and my calves are fine. You know, there's nothing, you know, um, arthritis class, calves are fine. They're they're built like a tank, you know. They're like, they're, they're, they're freaking stronger than ever. They're like tree trunks right now, you know. The thing of it is basically is that my elbows, I'm like, oh. You know, my body is like, dude, you know, my mind wants to just push, push, push. Doctors are like, no, you need to cut, cut, cut back. And my mind's saying, hell no. We're going to push, 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 push. We're not a quitter, right? In my mind, you're not a quitter, right? And my body's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So, <laughs> and then, my, you know, I know I got a, I got a physical with my family doctor, my wellness physical. And I know for a fact he's going to ask me, have you been taking it easy at the gym? And I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say I do more cardio. You know, I'm not lying. I do more cardio. But it's just... I go 60 pounds like on the curls and, and 60 pounds and 60 pounds on the uh, on the dumb weights. But the thing of it is, is I, I push the 70 and I push the 80. You know what I mean? I want to see how, what I can do. And there's a time where I can lift 110 pound dumb weight, both dumb weights, 110 pounds before. You know, I don't think I can do it now, but I got to work my way back up to it. But I'll tell you right now, man, when I was working the machines, you know, I, some guy had it really, really like a lot of weight. I'm like, Oh crap. So I had to go halfway and then I started doing it easy. I said, well, I'm going to get down there sooner or later. You know, so there's a goal, you know, every time you come to the gym, you want to break a record every time. Like, for example, the bike ride next week, I want to break that record of uh, 61 minutes and 40, 54 seconds. That's my, that's my time. And I started with 72 minutes when I first started. And let me tell you something. I, you know, I do a level 30. I did, I started with a level five for a while. And then I went to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then the 15, and then the 20, and then the 30. But I had a hard time with 30. I mean, 25 to 30, I had a hard time. So I had to train myself. And I would go up and down, up and down, and whatever the case may be. And now I just stay on 30. And like I said, if you go to your gym, go to your bike, okay, and go to the highest level, it's 30, okay? Go to the mileage, highest mileage, 25, okay? Um, calorie, I, like, like I did a 15 miler, and I think I burn almost 700 calories okay on on the bike i'm um, not including the treadmill not including it. i mean all the other stuff i'm looking at maybe eight nine maybe a thousand calories or less you know that i burned you know but i did you know drink muscle milk you know i did have um and i got some oatmeal when i go home well okay you know case you know case may be but the thing of it is basically is this is that you know this gym right here keeps me sane okay um I don't, you know, people think I'm gloating. You know, Dude, I'm 54 years old, okay? I'm riddled with freaking arthritis, you know? My shoulders were like almost like disconnected, you know? I mean, I had to work hard. I had to go to PT to strengthen my shoulders. I had to go to PT to strengthen my right elbow because it was freaking hurting because I had something wrong with my tender, I mean, with my bicep or tricep or something like that it was you know, in pain, and it was in pain for years, didn't know what it was, it was, I forgot what it was called, but it was like something in the bloodstream, I don't know, and then my freaking calves, I freaking snapped that son of a bitch, you know, when I first started working out here, I freaking went one way, my leg went another way, my freaking calf said, mm -mm, and fl flat tire, on the ground, you know what I mean, and I had to work on that, and so it's been a work in progress, you know, it's not easy, you know, it's not instant grits, you know, you just don't freaking come to the gym one day and go, all right, man, I'm stronger than ever, no, the fucking, I'm still weak, man. You now people, I mean, I tell you right now, people like, you know, impress and whatever. I'm, just, I, I'm not here to impress people, you know. I'm here to freaking keep myself mentally and physically fit, okay. My brain is what I'm working on. My body is what I'm working on. And right now, physically, I'm pretty good. I have arthritis. Woo! But you know what? 
mentally is a work in progress. I mean, if, if anyone was from the New England area, you know the big dig in the 80s? You know, and that lesson. And I don't think they actually finished. They just said, fuck it, we're done. You know, <laughs> you know, um, like like here, you know, Highway 98 is where my job is. You know what I mean? What, east to west? It's always under construction. Any fucking highway you go on, I-10, freaking, I mean, nine, I, whatever. You got freaking, you got, you know, freaking uh, construction. You know what I mean? So, but anyways. Well, I got to get out of here. Um, time to go. Time to run. Time to run. Time to go. Can I, Chris, out? Peace. I love y'all. Thank you very much for everything. Bye-bye.